Brisbane rested up after having the bye in week one, while the victory on the short turnaround from that 3-0 defeat in the Big Blue on Sunday afternoon. Matildas, everywhere you look, a star-studded Brisbane lineup featuring five Matildas, one of them watching on from the stands as well, Elise Kelwin Knight not yet available. And away we go. An early touch for Celeste Beret, one of the many Americans out there on the pitch this evening and alongside for the call, a former Brisbane Roar attacker and Matilda star as well, Amy Chapman. Welcome to you. Thank you, Speedy. An early, early break here for Dowie, who didn't get too many touches last game. So this is promising signs for victory. Polkinghorne taking the game on, riding through a challenge or two. Tried to find Baisden. Gorry will pick up the scraps. Great vision. Wonderful ball. Here you go the roar for the first time. Gallop in behind for Razzo. Oh, Toby slid in and committed the foul on Menges. What a moment for the 19-year-old Farrington. Stood out with Logan in the NPL this season. From Danoon. Population around 1,000 in northern New South Wales, around the Lismore area. Should be making headlines in Danoon tomorrow uh, for this W League debut. Here's Yallop. They're picking up the second balls in dangerous areas. Tamika Yallop fires it straight at Dumont, who will know her game well. Very much so. They've played a lot of football together, but geez, Meeks is playing with some real confidence. She's attacking players. She's running with the ball. Um, her Matilda's form is so far looks like it's coming across into the raw the raw lineup Pickett in a wrestle against jenkins delivering to the back post has to be dealt with it's an own goal caitlin torpy trying to put it out for a corner had the miscue and arnold stood no hope at all and the victory had their first goal of the season and they're not complaining one little bit about the way it unfolded, they'll take it. Oh, it's actually a good finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's heartbreaking. For, but it's good to see the Raw girls get around Torpy there and keep her head up because it's very early. Polkinghorne trying to inspire her team, but Brisbane couldn't maintain possession. And here's Dowie, wins a penalty. The youngster exposed at the back and Tash Dowie knew she had the young defender on toast there. Yeah, that's a, that's a clear plant penalty there. Natasha Dowie off the shoulder there is a great first touch and uh, poor Claire Farrington caught a little bit high there. So, you know, this puts Brisbane Raw in a pretty tough position. And no doubts on who's taking it. Against the Matildas backup goalkeeper. Dowie sends Mackenzie Arnold the wrong way. And who anticipated this scoreline? The Melbourne victory in their second game of the season, 2-0 up in Brisbane already. They've only ever won once in 11 visits to Queensland to take on the Raw. It's a fixture that has been dominated by Brisbane, particularly in this state. But here come the Raw. Yallop! And they pull one back. The combination between their Matilda stars, there for all to see, as Gori and Razzo feature in the build-up. And Yallop has her 50th goal for the club. That was some wonderful play there. You can see how um, how aggressive and potent these guys can be. This is really only the second time they've been in the 18-yard box. And, uh, you know, they've got a reward for it. Great first touch from, from Hayley Russo. You can, you can get away with that when you've got speed like hers. So um, whether it was a layoff, an assist, or a layoff for herself, it was a wonderful finish from Meeks and um, Brisbane Raw back in it. Got to remember, Jeff Hopkins coached this Brisbane Raw team and these players for a very long time, so he knows exactly the danger points. And you see Meeks facing forwards in those positions. You see Hayley Russo getting her speed up and Minnie facing forward with the ball at her feet. He knows how dangerous that is. He's been a very successful coach, and I think he's coached more W League games than any other. So um, he certainly knows the game, and he certainly knows success. Oh, Pickett, great delivery. Harmed aside by Casey Dumont, and that may have been very important goalkeeping. Oh, Beret ran into a brick wall. Great advantage. Great refereeing from Mitchinson. Checked on Beret's welfare. Here they are in behind. Razzo. Palmed aside by Dumont. And Toby with a flick towards goal after Yallop's effort. Just couldn't get the power in those first-time strikes. 
either Yallop or Toby, but here they come again. And the return ball wasn't on to Bayston that time. Pickett can't slide it past the vastly experienced Tegan Allen. Little ball on around the corner. Ayres has plenty of room to explore. Dowie making her moves. Pass to an onside. Tash Dowie. Oh, great save, Mackenzie Arnold. Mackenzie Arnold's done incredibly well here. You'd, you'd get back Natasha Dowie to finish that every day of the week. Uh, a scary moment there for Brisbane, and it would have been great for victory to go in the sheds 3-1 uh, up. You'd expect Claire Polkinghorne to go up for this one. She has a great track record of heading goals. No, she's hanging back, and it's all victory at the drop. They get in each other's way here, and they give up a penalty. Rebounded onto the hand. Is there a clear... Handball by a victory player. Yes, there is. A great spot again from the referee, Rachel Mitchinson. And Tamika Yallop on penalty duty. Very deliberate the way she's paced it out as well. Plenty of practice on these. Hitting wits against Casey Dumont. And Dumont read her like a book and keeps the victory in front. How big will that save be in the final wash-up? That's props out to Casey there. She's picked a side, she's gone with it, and she's committed, and, and it's paid off for her. It def definitely wasn't well hit by Meek. She'll, she'll be disappointed with that. Saw Indy uh, Paige Riley making a very clever little run along the line there. Breaks the way of Dowie, who has a look into the box. Where to next, she thinks. Cutback's pretty handy. Trapped by Ayres. And Longo just closed down as she looked to get the strike away by Farrington. Harrington tried to slide one through. Dowie saw it coming. She's got Longo alongside, making the run in behind. Oh, she slid in again, got the ball, and then the player. That was risky, but credit Farrington after giving up one penalty against Dowie for winning that one cleanly enough. Beret just skipped through midfield. Cross into Riley, trying to tee up Celeste Beret. Oh, great reactions, and left side flag will deny the follow-up. Beret's goal would have counted. Riley definitely in an offside position. And watches it come through legs and gets down in a heartbeat. But Casey Dumont, best player on the pitch nearly, saves a penalty. And how did she keep that one out? It was fizzing low and hard to her right. Played it cleverly, waited for the overlapping run of Baisden across the face. Players over at the back post and Dumont Keeps out Yallop again. Beret, oh, Dumont's inspired. Have you seen a goalkeeping performance like this in the history of the W League? It is fantastic from Casey Dumont. Wow, well done, Casey. She was up and down and up and down and in the right spots every single time. That was, that was excellent positioning. Victory will be very, very happy with her. Foray into the attacking half and Dowie stolen behind. What a goal! Tash Dowie just ghosted in behind the centre halves, got the better of Claire Polkinghorne, still had a lot to do. And what about the finish to make it 3 1 to the Melbourne victory? This is an incredible finish. These only happen on the training ground, these ones. That's a first touch and to get that kind of connection facing the other direction, uh, Natasha Dowie, that is, that is exceptional. The scourge of Brisbane. Six goals in her past four games against the Raw. She's on for another hat-trick. Lovely ball and in front of Razzo. Brisbane not done yet. McCormick across. Razzo in behind! And you're waiting for the back of the net to bulge. The victory dodge a bullet there. She'd done all the hard work. She, she, she'd beaten Jenna, which is no easy feat. Had plenty of time to place this, and she's picked the right side. She's just opened up that slight bit too much. It's, um, it's definitely heartbreaking for the Brisbane Raw fans. Dalton advancing again. Good-looking cross. Only one player to hit, though. And that was the relatively diminutive Riley in the middle. Another ball whipped in. Awkward. And the side foot finishes home. A Predators finish from Indy Page Riley for her second W League goal. And it's game on again with 10 minutes to go. 
Well done there to Indy. A uh, young player with a lot of promise, and she's pounced on that one, and you can see the intent from her that she wants to win this game. It's probably the quickest she sprinted, and it's uh, to get back to halfway to go again. So it's absolutely game on here, Speedy. See both the coaches getting nice and vocal now. It's um, a fair bit of game management here. Beret playing in the heart of defence, slipped at the key moment. Dowie on that hat trick. No, she has a teammate at the far post. Will she need anyone? Dowie takes on the strike and Arnold perfectly positioned. Such an open game. Five goal thriller so far. The prospect of Moore as Rasso turns on the afterburners. Gets rid of Tegan Allen trying to make up the ground. Oh, great pick out. Oh, the substitute could have made it 3-3. Three, three. One win came in a grand final, so points have been few and far between for the victory against Brisbane. A slip from Tegan Allen. Yallop said thanks very much. Ball on across the face. And she miscued. Straight out of play for the goal kick. There were players steaming in at the back post. The seas had just opened up for Meeks here, didn't they? A, a very misfortunate slip for Tegan Allen there. And they have done it. The Melbourne victory showed great bounce back ability after that first up loss in Sydney to come and get their second win ever in Brisbane against the Raw. Natasha Dowie, one of the stars with two goals, including a worldie, which winds up being the winner. But they'll be celebrating with their goalkeeper in a few moments time because Casey Dumont was a standout for the visitors all those years as a raw shot stopper but now she comes back to haunt in victory colors saves a penalty and makes a series of astonishing saves to perhaps be the player of the match